Creating a room in Google SketchUp and then let her export that room via 3D Exchange into iClone is easy. First, create a box large enough for the room. Then use the offset tool to create a shape that we can push-pull to create the walls and floor of the room. Notice how easy it is to push and pull to create and destroy walls. Now let's use the draw tool so that we can resize our ceiling surface with the push-pull tool. Then we can use the draw tool again to add character to the room, such as in this corner, or add a luxurious wall panel. Now let's add some t named textures to our models, such as a wooden floor, and perhaps we can make a luxurious wooden panel as well. Then we can use this tile surface to create a wall that's made of tile. Then of course we need to make sure that we group our model together. Let's create a small cabinet at the base of this wall. So first we create a box, then use our draw and push pull tools to create a handle on our box. Then let's add some textures to our box. Since I plan to have many instances of this cabinet, I will make it into a component. After it's a component, I can move it into other different positions as well as copy and create other cabinets like it. Then, once they're all created, I can group them together. We can also make a rug in the same way. Create a surface, add a texture to it, and then group it together. Alright, the room looks nice, so let's name it and save it. Make sure that you save it as a .skp file version 6. So let's create some furniture for our room. I think a vase would be really nice. So using our arc tools and our draw tools, we can easily create the shape of a basic vase. Then we can move the arcs into the correct position. And then now, after I have the basic shape drawn out, we can delete away the surfaces and the lines that we don't require. Then we can use the move tool and copy that same line, so that way we can create the outer wall surface of the vase. Then doing the same thing with the draw key, we can create the bottom surface of the inside of the vase. Then again, delete away the lines and the spaces that we don't need. Then we can draw a circle to use as a guide for our follow me tool later to create the entire surface of the vase. So we click on the vase wall surface and use the follow me and notice we created a vase. And then we need to just delete away our guide circle and voila we have a vase. But the outside of the faces are back faces, which will not look right if we use it in iClone. So we reverse the faces so we have the front faces. Then we can import that same vase that we just created into our room. But oh my goodness, that vase is huge! So we use our scale key to change the, t the size of the vase down to a smaller vase size. Move it into position, and then we can add some texture to it, and make sure that it's a group and then let's save it. But let's not forget that there is a 3D Google warehouse out there where you can download any models. So we don't have to make all the furniture, we can sometimes get some nice good quality models off of the 3D Google warehouse. So let's sort by popularity and let's see if we can find a nice coffee table. Hmm, that looks nice, so let's download that model. All right, so download model and select yes that we want it to load directly into our model. And then we can place that model anywhere we like. Then don't forget, you want to save your project and remember choose SKP file version 6. So let's now place our Google SketchUp model into iClone. So let's first open up our model into 3D Exchange to convert and export the model into iClone. And let's also make sure to align it to the ground and then just make sure that it's, the room is the exact size of a person so that people will fit in the room. 
Second, we want to remove the back faces since we don't need those geometry with an iClone. A faster way to do this is go to Tools and exclude SKP back faces. Then we want to hide the excluded, that way we can see just the geometry that we're going to need. Let's export the room first by deselecting all the other furniture, leaving only the room mesh selected. Then let's align it to the ground, and then let's export it. Don't forget to name your model so that you can find it later as a prop within your custom prop. Then let's deselect the room and do the same process for all the different furniture types. Remember to align the prop to the ground, name the prop, and export. So here we are finally in iClone 3, and we want to assemble our room as well as create an environment setting for room display. Therefore under the Set Props Custom Props we can find all the models we have exported from 3D Exchange. And using the Move tool, I can then reassemble my room here in iClone 3 by placing all the furniture types back in. Okay, so the room is assembled. So now let's create a proper environment setting for our room display. So let's go to Sky and add in a Sky Dome. One way to create a professional display floor is by actually using water. After changing the height of the water to its proper level, we can also adjust the wave strength as well as the size of the waves to its lowest setting. Now we have a very beautiful reflective floor. But if we want the floor to be even more reflective, just move down to the refraction and change the setting to zero. But if you want all the attention on the model, change the reflection to zero and we have the darkened floor. Make sure you watch part 2 of this tutorial to see how to add realism to your projects and create breathtaking scenes.